Hello, this is Andrea from the Geo Paparazzi project and uh, I would like to take you through a short how to on how to handle Geo Paparazzi data when it comes to bring them into your desktop environment for photo processing. So um, to do so, uh, since we're now talking about a future Geo Paparazzi 4 release, as you might have seen in other tutorials there will be a, it will be based on a single file project and instead of operatio 3 was based on a folder structure project so i'm going to show you how to uh, convert job operatio 3 projects to job operatio 4 projects that's in, in our case it has been very important to create such a tool since we do all our surveys and we have a whole pile of surveys uh, in archive and we might want to pop them up again in the new Geo Paparazzi and then also how to export Geo Paparazzi 4 data to your GIS environment. To do so I created a very simple uh, Geo Paparazzi project with two small logs and a couple of notes and I try to make very different notes. So, for example, this one here is a. They are all form based. Is a map note. It has is map picture and a text. Then there is one complex note which kind of means form with a title and description. And there is a sketch note where you can draw sketches on with an image and. A simple note which just opens as a pop-up and another note with two pictures taken this is all created indoors so you would see pieces of tables and things like that and then there is also the example which is always in job operatio one of the buttons where you can see all the different widgets that are supported inside uh, a form and then we had also I added also just an image of a picture taken of a lamp and another sketch I think that's just to, to have them all okay just a very simple sketch okay this project here um, in done in job operat 3 has been uh, let me just check this I brought this on my desktop as I do always when I have to convert it into data for a JS environment and this contains the usual things the old Java RT3 uh, database and the media folder which contains all the properties files with uh, latitude longitude and uh, azimuth information and so on okay to convert this I'm gonna show you this also um, we're using a product that is called stage it's an environment for geographic scripting It's a spatial toolbox for geographic scripting and I will show you later how to download a version for Windows or Linux I downloaded here the version for Windows you just unzip it and run the stage executable so when it runs up it will load directly the libraries and as you can see um, let's load the experimental ones also there is a part related to mobile and here you have we can run this also this is the job paparazzi tree converter it will do as much as let us see as convert this just drag it in here this into um, GIS data this convert three so this is a job operatio tree project and when we convert This kind of project, you want okay, took it. 
it didn't okay if i do all uh, if i ask to create nodes log lines this is going to create shape files for each of it so if i run this it will start converting data it is possible that in the form the keys have to be trimmed because in a shape file there is no way this is going to fit into a dbf field and it is possible that some pictures might have had problems which is one of the reasons why i really wanted to bring this in a single database file because sometimes pictures get removed or the properties files gets removed but anyways the rest of it has been converted so every note the sketch note and uh, the map note for each different form type a shapefile is created with the structure in the attribute tables and the media files are exported um, okay this is kind of deprecated right now and what I would like to do is first convert this job apparatus 3 project into a job apparatus 4 convert. This is quite simple because you just need to drag your folder in here and you run this module and it will start importing into the database the pictures and then import the logs and all the notes. And what you get is a very simple and clean single job of RATSI file. So this is actually what I was showing you here. Because in that case, uh, I already had uploaded this project. And I have job of RATSI 4 installed here. So if I click on this one, it will just load the job of RATSI project and yeah this is somebody right on telegram uh, couldn't be a better timing uh, last thing I would like to show you is how you convert this stuff a job apparatus 4 project into some GIS output. So simply go to the Jobarazzi 4 converter. In this case it takes a database obviously. So I can just drag that here and place the output folder in the output and ask to create everything. If I run this Again, it would tell me that some of the fields have to be trimmed. Then there is a warning. This comes from the GeoTools libraries. It's it's really nothing we have to worry about. And it finished up. Let's see what it did. So we have all the nodes shapefiles start with nodes and then have the name of the you can find here a sketch note of what you chose when you choose this here you know the name of the type of the note and for each of that there will be a shape file with a structure then there is all the media points all the pictures and sketch that have ta been taken are inside here with some positional and timestamp attributes then there are the GPS points and GPS lines of the of the GPS logs, and here you can decide whether what you want to be created and what not. Uh, the whole folder of media with everything in it, because inside the inside the, the shape files, the images are referenced. 
and there is also since GeoPirate C4 we have also some uh, project information metadata that are exported as well in a simple text file. One nice thing we added in this export version is that all the GPS logs are exported as charts also. So if I look into here, you see we have, let's see if I can link it a bit. Easier. Oh, that's just the images, but we have one log here and one log here. I think it's down there. And they have names. And as you can see, for each of these logs, two images are exported. One is the planimetric view. I'm still not sure if this is very useful or not. But for sure, the profile view with the progressive distance and elevation is something that can get kind of neat. And so for the same for the second log, just the scattered block of the points in latitude and longitude, and just to have an idea of the extent and the profile again of the second. So that's kind of it. So the stage spatial toolbox has a couple of tools convert the old format to GIS data, the new format, the upcoming new format to GIS data, and a converter for GeoPaparazzi 3 projects into GeoPaparazzi 4 projects. Then there is also the TMS generator, which is the one used to uh, create tiles or MB tiles uh, data to be used in GeoPaparazzi as background data, but that's kind of out of scope for it. So that's all. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, just quickly, I will provide you with a link to where you can download stage and that's on the drive and as you can see I just started download the Linux version is uploading this is the latest version you want to pick Let me pull this down the Windows version is already here it's based on Java 7 for 64 bit and based on JGress tools 0.7.9 version and this is the link so I hope you enjoy and you have some tools to work with Joe Parazzi data. Thanks. Bye.